Hey Sterling, I've been with my girl for almost four years. I've known that I want to have kids with her for a little over a year now. She's almost three months pregnant now. Congratulations. I'm planning to propose in a month or so. Over the past few years, I have always casually brought up her not being the only woman and that she beat the others out to hold the number one spot the way she does now. At one point, she even told me she wants to watch me fuck another girl. She told me it would be really hot for her to watch. I joke all the time how she needs to be conducting interviews to help me find my second and third wife. I've always told her that I want to have two or three wives and she hasn't really been opposed enough to be unhappy or even consider leaving. I have been very clear multiple times over the years that I want multiple wives uh, all giving me kids under one roof. She is still the only woman active in the scene as there hasn't been a second one yet. How would you advise I go about taking things to the next steps where I find another another girl and introduce her into the situation? I've been a huge fan of you and your work for quite some time. I look forward to hearing you now. First step is you're going to have to have a, th the, a threesome with this woman. Uh, that's the first step. That is the next step. Don't even worry about uh, like making the second girl... I mean, we can go a little bit into like the second part. Like, Okay, let's, let's do that second part first. Like, we'll do that quickly. First step is to get a have a threesome with this girl. I'll go into more t detail on that. And then... Well, probably multiple. You probably need to have multiple threesomes. Uh, and during those three, course of those threesomes, you'll pop is when you where you will find the second one to add to your your family, your terrine or whatever. Um, and obviously, those two the two have to get along really well, uh, less bitchy and more kind of cooperative attitude towards each other, so they would be amicable under the same roof. And uh, yeah, a, a, and I come with a sister wife set up. And obviously you're vetting the second girl for this. Um, you're kind of vetting her during the setup of the threesome setup and after the threesome as well. So you're vetting her to see if she fits the bill and she's keen on the situation and she's down and everyone gets along together and everyone's happy. So the first part is more important part though, how to actually pull off the threesome. If she's pregnant right now, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> uh, this is something that will probably have to happen after you've had the child and yeah after she's done nursing uh so that phew, jesus probably like minimum i'd say probably minimum six to six to nine months after um you've had this kid so uh yeah basically it's it's if she is even so there's a couple ways to go about this like one it, it'd be you need to know if she's kind of bi or not if she's bisexual or she's just okay with sharing those are two very different things so you have to find out what which one she is first, uh, and then second, the easy, I, I, for me personally, the way I kind of introduce this idea and f introduce this fantasy to two women is through dirty talk, and I do that uh, in the bedroom during whilst we're having sex. I will kind of uh, narrate fantasies to her in her ear whilst we're having like close, like sensual sex, like. Uh, missionary position or doggy style so missionary position doggy style like in her ear bending over like that or cowgirl where she's laying on me um that's great to opportunities for you to whisper stuff in her ear so i'll whisper things like you know and that imagine if there's a girl in that corner over there watching us fuck right now how hot would that be or imagine if you were sitting in that chair over there watching me fuck a woman the same way another another woman the same way i'm fucking you right now like you see what I'm doing there? I'm, in one scenario, I'm creating, I'm creating a uh, like a exhibitionist kind of frame, and the other scenario, I'm creating a voyeuristic kind of frame. And I'm seeing how she responds to these fantasies as well. She's already in an aroused state, like because we're having sex in that act in that moment anyway. So she's already hyper aroused. So we're, we're we're sort of layering a fantasy on top of her arousal, and then we're gauging her response to it. So that's kind of the way I've always introduced stuff like this. Um, at least in a, in a, in a sexual kind like that's the first, I think I consider that to be the first step sexually. You can totally talk about this stuff before and, and, and vet it out in the air and open, um, in an easier, in a more, uh, subtle way. And when you're walking around and, and making, you can, you can get her to play the fuck, marry, kill game where she has to, she, if you're in a, in an open space with, a, with there's women around like a bar or a restaurant or something, you, you tell her, okay, you have to pick three, you point out, you the guy, you point out three different women, and you tell her she has to fuck one, she has to marry one, she has to kill one. It's a fun, you know, just silly game that people play. Uh, or you can just sit there and people watch in a crowded restaurant or a bar or something, 
and tell her, okay, which who's the, who's the cutest girl in the room? Which the, which girl in this room do you think is the cutest? And you're all you're doing is, and this is again, this is more for if she's bisexual than if she's just okay with sharing. Uh, but that's the fun that's the fun part. Anyway, so we're gonna aim for that. Uh, so these are all ways to, for you to sort of elicit this out of her and figure out, or, or at least allow her to take her first steps down that path. So I'd start there. And then like the easiest way is if, is literally just get some good photos of the two of you and have her create a Tinder profile or have her create a Bumble or a Hinge. Uh, Tinder is probably gonna be your best bet. Um, Tinder and Hinge are probably gonna be your best bet. Just have the, just get some really good, if you get, have the two of you get in great shape and dress really well, have some really good photos done. Um, and have some really good photos of her to lead with. And uh, yeah, then have her create a couples profile on Tinder. And uh, yeah, start swiping in different places. Maybe you want to be anonymous, you don't want to do it in your area, you want to do it in a town, a city next to you, something like this. Get a Tinder premium or whatever so she can she can uh, put the location in different cities. Uh, and that's that is going to be the easiest way to go about it. Uh, it's going to be harder to find a, because it's a numbers game. That's why, because it's a, it's a, it's a shit numbers game. So it's going to be harder to do it face to face and personally, trying to find it because the, the the things you're betting for are very very small. Like there's a very very there's less women who have these things that you're betting for. So it's a numbers game in that regard. So those are the first steps I would take. Uh, yeah. So good luck to you.